Hi, how you doing guys? So I wanted to do a walk around of the uh, Peterbilt 337 um, cable hoist. Um, it's the official name for a trash truck that pulls the can on via the cable, as you see there in the um, in the picture. So I was going to do a quick walk around. This is a 2000. And 16 model Peterbilt 337 has about 20,000 miles on it. It's still in pretty good shape. Um, I've, I'm sorry, it's about 50,000 miles on it. The, the only thing wrong with the tarper got ripped, and we have to replace that. Um, they get ripped on the on the on the cans every once in a while. So what I'll do is I'll just start a real quick walk around with it. Um, and what I'll do is I'm not going to go in the engine today. That'll do be another video. Um, I'll just go over some things on the exterior of the cab and um, you know go from there so the uh, it's pretty nifty looking truck from the front I like I like the way Peterbilt's look I, I like the way Max look as well too but um, Peterbilt I don't know it just does something for me um, obviously the fuel fuel fill Nice heavy duty grab bars on the side. Got the optional blinker for the uh, turn blinkers there on the uh, rear view mirror. This one's set up for um, CB, C, CB radio on the mirror. Um, 12,000 pound front axle. Def tank for the um, for the uh for, to, to go with the diesel fuel as you're filling it up roll right tarper and uh here's the uh levers for the um raise the hoist lower the hoist cable in and cable out so you got raise and lower and then they, they're calling it winch in and winch out or cable in and cable out when you're when you're lifting up the cable and i'm not going to operate the 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 uh, truck today i'm going to go through um the uh operation of the truck on another video nice large hydraulic tank some pretty heavy duty rollers nice large cable this um cable hoist is rated for 40,000 pounds nice large single cylinder and this this thing operates fast too and well, I could pull a can on this in in about 15 seconds um actually just got some some new tires put on it some pretty thick tread you could stick my whole hand and finger in that sucker so uh that was a 1500 hundred dollar bill for four tires got the um auto locker for the uh that hooks onto the uh, cans automatically when you put the pto on the um the, the, those lockers will when you when you have the pta on, pto on it uh, lowers down when you shut it off it raises up like the other side so everything's done automatically the um, ICC if you notice it hinges up and hinges down if you're on a hill um, these pins which a lot of guys don't even know there's a pin on the other side there's a pin you lock it up and then this will stay up and then if you're on a hill you can actually um, it, it, that that um, hoist may not want to go all the way up because that will hit the ground so you can lock it up and you got a nice roller in the back so when you're lifting the can uh -huh. it'll roll on the it'll roll instead of dragging across the uh, the driveway or or whatever your whatever the uh, surface is you're lifting off and it's a nice, I like the roll right tarps. They're nice tarps. We seem to have a lot of good luck with them. They're a popular brand. Could use a wash job. We, we should probably wash this truck pretty soon. Got the short stops here. For, uh, they go down and up for a longer and shorter can. And believe it or not, one of our, uh, it's a brand new truck in the, the daggone toolbox fell off so we gotta get another one and re-weld one on and that's what those two two bars are for there was a 
box on there and the guy that welded it didn't do a very good job obviously got a battery disconnect this is your control box for the tarper and that and that tarper um, raises and lowers so you can get up over you know a branches if they're sticking out of your out of your bin or dumpster a lot of guys call them bins I don't know why I don't like that word I like dumpsters or cans finally got some nice sun today too and that's about it guys it's a pretty nice truck I, I like the, the Peterbilt has a nice it's a nice product not a lot of options on it externally as far as chrome or anything got the uh, battery box on this side the um, the two uh, primary and auxiliary air tanks the only thing we did do is we got the um, aluminum wheels on the front so we could save some weight on our front axle and uh, that's the third one we bought it's three of these pretty much identical we pretty much bought them all at the same time I, I'm sorry we have two of them identical but now I'm thinking three because I'm seeing number three uh, we have two identical ones just about almost identical brother and sister and that's about it if there's anything that you guys want to see differently that I'm not showing you feel free to leave a comment I'll be happy to you know revisit anything you guys want to check out this is the uh, air dryer. 65 gallon fuel tank. As I'm looking at it shooting this video, I keep wondering why I did this without washing it first. I'm embarrassed. Nice big cylinders to raise the hoist. It's still in pretty good shape. It's only been through one winter time. And that's about it. Rails are still in pretty good shape too. Well, like I said, if there's anything you guys want to see that I didn't cover, let me know. I'll be more than happy to, you know, review it, check it out, review any particular um, part in detail. And, uh, try to help anyone out we can.